The leader of the so-called Donetsk People's Republic Miners' Union, collaborator Alexander Vaskovsky, warned the Putin regime that anger is growing in the occupied territories. He predicts mass riots. The traitor of Ukraine told about this in an interview with Z blogger Pavel Ivanov. The footage is available on the Telegram channel Ukraine365. Vaskovsky gave a fiery speech about how Donbass was on the brink of a social explosion. He emphasized that in the event of riots, Russia's security agencies would be unable to do anything and would be swept away by a wave of popular anger. What we hear in such internal conversations, the people are driven to it. When a critical mass of people, participants of the SVO, with combat experience accumulates, all their anger and fury will be multiplied by our organizational abilities and technologies. Then, I'm afraid, neither the prosecutor's office nor the special services simply have the ability to control this matter. Do not drive people to it, because we will not be able to control it, Vaskovsky urged. He claims to have tried several times to reach out to Russian dictator Vladimir Putin, warning him of the problem. It is noteworthy that propagandist Ivanov was very upset by Vaskovsky's frank statements. He warned him that such words could lead to very big problems for the collaborator. You should throw around such words less often, otherwise you will be accused of all sorts of extremism, said the Z blogger. Russia has tortured and arbitrarily detained people in occupied Ukraine, creating a climate of fear and suppressing Ukrainian identity. Russia had tried to suppress Ukrainian identity among children, replacing the curriculum in schools with a Russian one, which sought to justify Moscow's invasion. UN High Commissioner for Human Rights Volker Tuk said in a release linked to the report that the actions of the Russian Federation had resulted in profound and long-lasting consequences for Ukrainian society as a whole. The fire and explosions that took place following Ukrainian Army's kamikaze drone attack at the oil base in Russia's Rostov region continue for the fourth consecutive day. Images of the fire have been circulated by local residents on Russian Telegram channels. The fire currently covers an area of 10,000 square meters. 20 fuel tanks have burned. A firefighting train and aviation are involved in extinguishing the fire. As many as 42 firefighters have reportedly been injured, 15 of them were hospitalized. Hot and windy weather hinders fire extinguishing operations. Ukraine is close to closing the cauldron on the Syme River in the Kursk region, where up to 3,000 Russian soldiers could be surrounded, writes BUILD analyst Julian Ropk. As BUILD reminds, since August 16, Ukrainian troops have been blowing up bridges across the Syme River in the north of the Glushkovsky district of the Kursk region. This could cut off the Russian Armed Forces Group, since the area is surrounded by Ukrainian territory from the west and south. Russia is organizing pontoon crossings and an air bridge in response, and is also defending the remaining passage in the east. The day before, the Ukrainian armed forces captured the villages of Snagist and Apanasovka there, and they are five kilometers away from the Syme River and the closure of the cauldron. At the same time, according to Ukrainian data, between 2,000 and 3,000 Russian soldiers remain inside the cauldron, the publication writes. As Ropk writes, the state border between Russia and Ukraine in the south and west of the cauldron is prepared for defense, but it will be difficult for the Russians to defend themselves if the Ukrainian armed forces attack from the east. In addition, in the west, 
the Ukrainians have already crossed the border and taken control of a small section of Russian territory of 15 square kilometers up to the Syme River, where the Otruba farmstead is located. The Russians now have a simple choice, either fight and defend this territory, or retreat. Apparently, both options are fatal for them, Ropk said. At the same time, he notes that this battle is not decisive, since it is unknown how many forces Ukraine has left.